So hello everyone, this is Shantan Mukherjee and welcome to my channel and welcome to my vlog and I know what you might be wondering at this point is that uh, this is yet another guy, yet another channel and yet another vlog, it might be boring but I can assure you one thing that it won't be. So basically this is an introductory video where I'll be giving you an idea as to who I am, uh, what is my history and uh, how was my uh, organization formed, what is the history of my organization and I'll talk you through the entire process and the entire journey uh, till now as well as why this vlog was made and uh, what are the things that you can expect out of this vlog. So let's start with a brief introduction of myself. Like I told you, my name is Shantan Mukherjee. I live here in Calcutta, uh, in the state of West Bengal, in India and uh, right now i'm currently doing my masters in business administration from the university of northampton in the united kingdom so yeah right now at this point of time during filming this video i am here in calcutta itself and i'm due to go to the uk on the 16th of april so today is the 9th of april and i'll be going to the uk on the 16th of april to uh, complete my studies out there so yeah you might have guessed it by now that i had to stay here because of the lockdown and do all my classes online so other than that i have done my schooling out here from calcutta uh, from delhi public school ruby park kolkata and then proceeded to do my bachelor's in commerce from the university of calcutta through the bhavanipur education society college Furthermore, I have also done my uh, Master's in Business Administration studies starting from Amity University, Uttar Pradesh and now I am continuing that studies towards the University of Northampton. So well, that was a basic introduction of myself. Now I'll give you an introduction of my organization, how it was started and exactly what this vlog is all about. Okay, by the way, I don't know whether you noticed this or not, but the cup that I was drinking from is actually a Harry Potter cup and this is the Marauders map, so with that you get to know that I am a huge, huge, huge Potterhead. So if any of you viewers out there are a Potterhead, then do DM me down below, tell me which house you belong to and we can have a great conversation over that. So I'll see you down in the comments. Okay, so before we get on to the history and the description of my organization, let us talk a little bit about the agenda of this vlog. So the reason for this introductory video is to tell you that this vlog is not like any other vlog on the internet right now. And I mean it because there is no other vlog like this. In this vlog, I'm going to take you through a journey of my organization. I'm going to show you how we started it, how we have worked on it, what are the changes, reiterations that we have done, and then also how the journey of my organization progresses. So this is kind of a marketing agenda, you can say, uh, for my organization. But at the same time, you will also un uh, understand a great deal of the journey as to how an organization runs and how that can go forward in the future so definitely stick for till the end and uh, we can discuss a lot today itself so the later videos in this vlog can make a lot of sense once you start watching it okay so the name of my organization is studio nevas and the agenda of this organization is to provide designing and architecture services for both the interior and exterior of either private or commercial properties so yes my folks whatever the designing requirements are there we fulfill that by making either a 2d plan of the entire property or by making 3d designs in real time to show our clients how their property will look like as a whole once it is finished but before actually finishing it so that is what we do and let me now talk you through a brief history on how Studio Nevas was formed. It is a bumpy ride, I can tell you right now. And then you can understand as to what were the things that we faced, the challenges that we faced, uh, how was the road like, what is Studio Nevas today, how it became Studio Nevas, 
and the future from right now that is from the 9th of april will be entirely shot on this particular channel that is on this blog so all the details as to how we manage the organization the things that we do out here uh, what are the detailed uh, information that uh, is passed on in the organization so that a particular work is done everything will be shown in this vlog uh, from today so do stay till the end of this video so that you understand a brief history of this uh, of my organization so that the later videos in this vlog can make a lot of sense so I also like I told you I love drinking coffee so before telling any kind of story a sip of coffee can be done so I don't know whether you noticed the other thing about this mug or not that it is kind of turning black and it is you know fading out the Marauders map that is because this is a magic cup so normally in its cold form it is entirely black and when you add hot water inside this uh, cup the entire thing starts uh, revealing itself just like the Marauders map so once again yes it is magic and um, I like it it was gifted to me by someone really really special in my life so thank you to that person and let's get on with the uh, history of Studio Nevas so Studio Nevas was actually started uh, by the name of the Decker house in the year 2016 uh, on the month of April so that is when I first traveled to uh, Bombay from here Calcutta and I traveled by a train and um, that, were, that was when my dad wanted me to come with him shift with him and you know settle down with him alone so that I can also you know explore uh, living alone and uh, what is the lifestyle out there when you live alone and try to you know enhance your lifestyle uh, all by yourself so that is the point where I started understanding that if I have to live alone out here I should be doing something fruitful something important so that I can gain experience out of it I should do something not only to earn money but also to gain that expertise that is needed in my future so that is when I came up with a plan to start the Decker house which initially was to sell only interior Decker products so I'm talking about things like curtains, uh, lampshades, uh, you know, uh, chandeliers, wall arts, home decor pieces, and uh, many more. So these were the things that I was planning to sell. And at that point of time, I had uh, made a free website myself over this uh, platform called Wix.com. And I had um, started to arrange all the products over there. Uh, on this website for people to come and buy those products so out here you would ask me this question is that Shantan where did you get these products from so I started contacting many local people who were selling these products online on Facebook marketplace so guys if you do not know it if you are new to your business journey then Facebook marketplace is a wonderful place uh, where you can uh, get in touch with buyers and sellers and if you are a businessman you can start selling your products out there and you will definitely get a lot of reach if you do not have that money to spend on advertisement and reach a larger audience so yes this is where I started uh, getting in touch with a few sellers from whom I have told them I had I had got in touch with them I had got in contact with them and I told them that I will sell their products on my platform and I will reach a lot of audience from there so uh, I started um, advertising their products on my website and I spent a very very little nominal amount on the advertisement part of the website on Facebook ad so that my website gets viewed by a lot of people slowly but steadily I got uh, a lot of requests on my website for people you know ordering the products and uh, getting their orders for their home decor products and that is when I started to hire one other people in my uh, one other person in my organization who would uh, keep in touch or who would keep in record of the orders that were coming and who would be responsible for sending all those orders uh, to the customers out there so this was going on for some time now and I was definitely getting some traction out of this website and it was just a few months into this business and uh, everything was sailing smooth but one fine uh, Saturday morning everything changed 
So this Saturday morning, the person who was uh, working with me uh, contacted me and called me in the morning and told me that uh, there is a huge order uh, from a client who wants to purchase a lot of home decor items. So we are talking about expensive chandeliers, we are talking about uh, many curtains, we are talking about shelf items and um, candle stands and whatnot. There, like, there were a lot of items in that uh, basket of his. And that person had also prepaid for that uh, those items. And uh, there was this thing that he had also mentioned in his website, uh, or uh, sorry, in my website, that um, his delivery was needed to be done by the next working day. So that was Monday. Now, he ordered on Saturday. He wanted the delivery on Monday. So the only day left to do the entire task was on Sunday. And that is when I realized that this is where I should step in in order to do the delivery so that my customer does not, you know, uh, think that he is uh, not happy, not satisfied with the service that he provided and that will really kick off the name of the brand. So the very next day, that is on Sunday, I contacted my supplier and I told him that I was coming to him to purchase all the products that my client needed and I went by local train from Thane uh, to I guess Khat Koper uh, out there uh, where these people were selling their products and uh, I purchased all the products so it was a huge lot it was really a huge lot and uh, I purchased all the products I came back home and uh, the very next morning that is on Monday morning I went out to the client's house that was in Tadar and I once again I took a local train I did not have a p personal transport there back then and uh, the transport that my dad used to use I was not allowed to use that transport because he said that it was not something that I was allowed to do <laughs> so well and fine I uh, took the local train and uh, I went to the client's house once I reached the client's house uh, he greeted me he I gifted uh, sorry I gave him his products and um, he asked me this that you do not look like a delivery guy so who are you so that is when i uh, showed him my visiting card and he was literally shocked he was literally surprised to see that i was actually the person behind the entire website behind the entire business who had come physically to his house to deliver his product just to save my reputation so that is when he um, called me into his house and he had me seated in his house and we had a, a small conversation and I learned that he wanted the product by Monday just because he had a Griha Pravesh. So if you do not know what is Griha Pravesh is, uh, this is a small uh, celebration, a small um, uh, uh, thing where you pray to God and uh, you uh, for your new property and you uh, this is a small you know yoga type of thing that you do so that your uh, property stays safe and it gives you a lot of blessings and lots of prosperity in your future so uh, that is when he when we were having this conversation he also asked me that you do sell interior products so do you also sell interior services do you do interior services i declined him I declined him and I told him that no we did not do interior services but that is the exact point when the Decker house started changing its entire roadmap so after that what happened was that I did get this idea that yes I should do interior services as well and uh, I started planning out the entire thing as to how I would do it so I went back to my drawing board and I went back to Facebook marketplace Facebook Marketplace, like I told you, is a wonderful platform if you need to start off doing any business. Just ignore those dog noises. Like, it's crazy how much these dogs shout. They're literally in the opposite building and the flat below me. So, they are shouting all day. I cannot make these dogs stop shouting okay anyways so that is when i went back to facebook marketplace and i started searching for people who sell interior services 
I gave them this proposal that I will find customers for you and you will do the work for my customers. We will share the profits 50-50 percent. And how will I get clients? By digital marketing. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, everything I will do for those people and they will do the work for my clients. So this was a fair enough deal and most of the people actually agreed to this deal. So we came into our con uh, terms and condition, we shook hands with each other, we met each other and the entire process started. Okay, fast forward three years, I'm already doing interior services, uh, clients are happy with my work, the Decker house is really, really a good thing and now, not only in Bombay, we are now also doing services almost in most of the major cities in India. So you can talk about Delhi, you can talk about Bangalore, you can talk about Chennai, Kolkata, uh, Ahmedabad and many other such cities. So Bombay was already one place but these other cities we had started working as well. And this entire operation was handled by me, one other person who was that very first person with me who was the primary person who was working with me. His name was Abhinav and he was working with me uh, for a very long time. And uh, then there were two other people who were working with me to handle all these people, uh, you know, uh, across the country so that I am not loaded with a lot of work because ultimately I was still a student and I had still to study. So this is where things started changing. That is the year 2020. So yes, 2020, we were greeted with coronavirus and the entire country came to a lockdown in the 22nd of March 2020. This is when the Decker House literally stopped working at all. We got no clients as of such, no sales. We were down with our profits. We were, we were facing losses. Uh, I was not being able to pay my, uh, pay my employees and uh, they were asking me for payments. I was not being able to pay the workers who were actually working for people uh, during the time this lockdown happened and they were asking me that they were going to go back to their home and they would need their payment to be done so that they can go back home and stay safe at their place and uh, since at that point of time I myself did not get money from the clients I was in a real real big shortage so I was having a mental breakdown at that point of time and I told uh, those people that yes I will be paying them and I did pay them, uh, I didn't pay most of them from my own personal pockets but that was a really really strong you know uh, problem for me as well. So further down the line what I did was that I changed the name of the Decker House. This was a rebranding of my uh, brand and the Decker House now had a new name. I changed the name of the Decker House from the Decker House to Nivas. N I W A S, which means residence in Hindi. So, with this rebranding, I changed the entire structure of the organization. I made a new website, I made a new Instagram page, I made a new Facebook page, I made a YouTube page, and more. I did everything possible to rebrand my organization so that it has a new view and a new opening towards the world towards this country so that people start again uh, getting their services done and uh, from us and we can at least get some traction out of that brand but the entire year of 2020 went by we were we just had a few clients who came to us uh, because it was understandable people did not have money themselves so how will they have money to pay for interior services which is really an XP expensive work for them so the entire you know real estate market started crashing down day in day out and we faced a lot of loss so even after rebranding the entire business we did not find any fruitful results out of that so at this point i was thinking to myself that there needs to be a change that uh, that is to be made so that we can get clients to at least give us some traction give us some profits out of that and we can go forward with doing our work and that is when we come to the april of 2021 and uh, this is when we are starting with another rebranding of this brand so now we are rebranding nevas from nevas 
to studio nivas so studio nivas now does not do interior services anymore studio nivas does not do construction services anymore all that we do right now like i told you at the beginning is designing services both 2d and 3d for private and commercial properties so all that we do is drawings all that we do is designing and with this uh, i started this thing from the month of january i guess and we did experience a little bit traction because uh, in the month of january studio nevas was still not there it was nevas back then um, I'm planning to launch Studio Nivas in this very month itself that is in the month of April and disclaimer guys big disclaimer that when you will be watching this video it will be sometime in the future so you might be watching this video uh, a few months after this video is made so already everything will be done so definitely you'll have to check the links down below in this video to uh, understand uh, the entire you know uh, designing process and the entire uh, structuring of our plan so with that said we are going to be starting off with a new journey and this is why this vlog is made this vlog is primarily made so that i can share my journey with you guys out there to show you how this rebranding will be helping us and also like i told you this entire vlog is also a marketing agenda so i am not only making this vlog to show you guys how the entire thing works but i'm also making this vlog to market my organization in front of the world so yes if you are one of those people who needs designing services then you are in the right place do drop the comments down below or do contact uh, links are down in the description below so that you can go and you know uh, contact us book your services and we can definitely help you out with your designing works okay so with that now you know why this vlog is made what was the history of uh, nevas uh, or sorry studio nevas and uh, how we will be progressing with this vlog so like i told you this will be a very very different vlog from all the other vlogs that you see on the internet right now and uh, with that said final thing that i wanted you to know is that how can you benefit out of this vlog so the way that you can benefit out of this vlog is by understanding how a brand is made from scratch yes you require investments yes you require hard work but the steps that are involved normally people don't tell you that what are the steps that you will require and uh, even if there are people who will tell you that are the business consultants out there they will charge you money so in order to skip all those processes here i am telling you in front of you is that how can you do that what are the small small things that you can do in order to set up your brand from the very beginning so that you can you know get into the world of business and then start off as a good uh, entrepreneur as a good businessman for your future so definitely this is one way in which you can uh, enjoy this vlog and if you are one of those people who enjoys you know business uh, at the uh, thinkings and business business vlogs then definitely this is one for you so stay tuned for this vlog this was episode 1 of uh, the journey with studio nivas and with me shantanu mukherjee so keep watching the other videos in this entire series this is going to be a long series so we will have a lot of fun we will do many exciting activities i have many 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 uh, interesting things that i need to share with you guys so definitely uh, i look forward for that so with that said i will catch you in the very next episode and right now i will be signing off so bye bye and take care